to right. please a big crowd and they certainly went about their business with flair and finesse this is one of the best moves of the first half lovely one two between Nicky Marker and fullback Kenny Brown who's looking more and more confident it was to be uh, Kevin Summerfield's afternoon. He had a marvellous match in midfield, creating space and time for himself and giving Watford a frustrating 90 minutes. Well, Watford's best chance fell just before the break with uh, Gary Thompson left completely unmarked. Luckily he was falling over as he connected. But it was Plymouth who provided most of the thrills in the match. And after the break, uh, Kevin Hodges back to his best, working tirelessly alongside Summerfield and lucky not to score here with this uh, superb flashing shot. Now, by his own standards, Tommy Tynan had a quiet match, marked by one moment of inspiration. Here it comes. Brilliant chip, pushed over by Tony Cotton. But it wasn't all one-way traffic, and Watford looked certain to score during this remarkable scramble following the corner. Everybody has a go here. Paul Miller, Willie Falconer both hit the woodwork before the uh, referee fortunately intervened. But in the end, and literally with just seconds to go, justice was seen to be done when McCarthy missed time his shot straight to Summerfield, who drove the ball home. 1-0 win then. Argyle still in the bottom half, but only three wins away from a playoff position.